So just like many other people in this world, I've been extremely busy lately, and honestly it's been making me sad because I can't draw the things that I love as often. So this week I've allowed myself to just go ahead and have fun in my sketchbook by drawing this ballerino right here. So hi everyone, I'm Ward and welcome to my channel Ward Draws a Lot, and this week we're just gonna chill and draw in my sketchbook and kind of get back in the swing of drawing again. So, like I said, because I'm pressed for time way more than usual, I feel like that always happens towards the tail end of the year. By the way, I don't know if that happens with you guys, but it totally happens to me where, like, the last three months of the year just pop up and all of a sudden everything shits itself. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what do I do? <laughs> but yeah, because I've been so busy, I haven't been able to draw consistently. And by consistently, I mean at least few times a week because that's my personal preference. I know some people draw way more often or way less often, but for me to make sure my skills are still intact and that I'm progressing, I usually like to at least draw or doodle a few times a week and I haven't been able to do that recently because of everything that's been going on around me. So usually to help me get back in the swing of things, I draw something that I'm really comfortable with or something that I really like. And you know, according to my calculations from uh, what I've seen in my past uploads, it's been a very long time since I've drawn some premium prime beef on a plate, <laughs> also known as a dude with titty. <laughs> so it's been like a month since I've done that, and that's the thing I love drawing most, it's just, you know, dudes with booba. So I was like, in order to actually feel happy again and feel like I'm having a good time and get in the swing of things, I should just draw with like what I like at first, and that's exactly what I like. And honestly, that's something that I suggest for everybody to do is like if you're away from drawing for a little bit and you want to get back into it or you don't know where to start, start off with what you love. Because if it's something you like and you're interested in, you're going to be more eager to draw it and you're going to feel the need to actually, you know, do it compared to drawing something completely out of left field that you don't know if you're going to be able to do because you haven't been drawing as often or something really advanced like right off the bat when you come back to it is going to be a harder time and it's going to be kind of discouraging and i you know i wouldn't want that for anybody and i wouldn't want that for myself like <laughs> like i'm not gonna come back in after not drawing and be like yeah i'm gonna tackle perspective today like that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't fucking work like that all i'm gonna do is sit there angry and sad that i can't do it so instead of you know pushing myself completely off the edge in the first place and just trying to do something that I already have difficulty with and then trying to conquer it it's just not gonna work so I take it slow and I go ahead and I draw something that I love so this way I kind of get the feel for everything again and remember why I love doing uh, art so much or why I love drawing certain types of characters so much because it just genuinely brings me joy and I know 100% I wouldn't have that feeling if I went in thinking like, oh, let's do something really hard or complex. Instead, I'm going to be like discouraged and feel like, man, why am I even drawing in the first place? Or that I should come back to it again a later time. And I know for me personally, it doesn't work like that. I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm pretty comfortable with who I am and I know what I like and I don't like. And I don't like the idea of going in doing something super difficult and then just failing at it because I know myself I know I'm gonna be like fuck this I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get like so frustrated angry and I'm not gonna want to care to do it so instead I know like how I work I I work the way that I do and eventually if you guys uh don't have that in you yet or like you're not to that point with yourself yet you'll get there and you'll see like hey this is what i like to do and this is what makes me kind of inspired to draw and all that stuff uh if you're not at that point yet be very patient with yourself it took me so long to understand that there were many points in my life where i stopped drawing entirely and i was like miserable <laughs> I, was, I was like the saddest person in the universe dude there's something so cathartic when you put a marker to a paper that you feel you feel free you feel like a freedom that you could put down these ideas and these creations and you feel almost like at home whenever you do something like this as an outlet or just for fun it's honestly something almost endearing to to see yourself and i'm lucky enough to record myself doing these things and i can see myself in the future like oh i loved doing that piece or i loved um how i colored at that time or all my techniques were different you know it's all that kind of stuff kind of combines together and you know it makes a wonderful experience i only hope 
that everybody gets to feel that experience at some point in their life. Is, isn't it crazy how that whole speech just was led up to me drawing booba? Like, that's they're like that's crazy. Like, <laughs> like, the inspiration of an artist is insane, dude. Like, that whole thing is just because I like booba. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things because life is not kind to anybody. And I completely understand that. And it's been whooping my ass. It's been, <laughs> it's been whooping my ass. So I'm just trying to figure out how to balance everything again. Um, more than ever, I'm just trying to sit down and have the time for everything. And it's just, dude, it feels like every day is shorter and it, it sucks. It really does. I just I want days to feel like they're almost endless but then there's just so many factors in between everything and they eat up and consume so much of our time and it it's just booty it's just buns I, <laughs> I don't like it but that's the whole point of us trying to make do with what we got and doing the most out of every day uh, I've I've definitely been trying to do that more than ever especially because I have to make room for the things that I enjoy or else I will never get to do them and that's that's something that I suggest to everybody is make room for yourself or else you will never find yourself and you will never enjoy your time on your own and you will never get comfortable with yourself. Now, it could be different for everybody. Maybe some people are just, boom, they're already comfortable, they're already happy, they fine. They don't need to make time, things come to them. That's great and I'm happy for them, but that's not how it worked for me. I wish it did because, man, I wish it did. <laughs> At the end of the day, everything is patience and, you know, it'll all fall back into place for me and I just got to give it some time. Anyway, uh, now that we finished with that TED talk, <laughs> I kind of want to talk about the drawing in the sketchbook spread. Uh, of course, I had no idea what I was drawing when I was drawing it because I almost never do. I kind of just put my pencil down to the paper and then when things kind of form and pop up, I'm like, hmm, this kind of looks like blank. And <laughs> this time it kind of looks like a male ballerina, which I had to look up the name for that because I didn't know. So uh, apparently it's just ballerino. That's crazy. Like I've never heard anybody use the word ballerino and now, <laughs> now I do. So I'm like, okay, now I know what it is. And it's funny because I think he's too large to be a ballerino. Uh, they are muscular and they are fit. They have to be so they can lift up uh, ballerinas and they have to do these incredible moves and dances. But I think they can't be too big. I'm, I'm almost pretty sure because I think it loses the idea of grace along with it, which is like strange, but like that whole world isn't my world, right? I don't have any idea how ballerinos and ballerinas work and how difficult it is. That's, that's all I know is just how absolutely hard it is and how much work they put into it and just oh man how many hours of practice it must be like insane dude insane it's like it is something that they just you know surround their whole lives with so besides that factor <laughs> i i kind of saw that in this character and that's when i kind of kind of fit my narrative around it with the booba and the big muscle right <laughs> but he still has like kind of the the look of a, of a ballerino just much larger look <laughs> i definitely had to look up some references to kind of help with the uh, idea of what he was gonna look like so for the image of the left i kind of looked up a muscular arm up so he's kind of stretching in the first photo and i found this picture and i was like oh that's a good reference to use for when he's stretching his arm upward and then for the um, drawing on the right, I kind of looked up some more specific poses and I came across this one right here and I was like, oh, okay, this one kind of like, I can, I can work with it. Um, so I kind of cut it short, the image and gave the idea that he is, um, doing his leg up in the air and his arm upward and stuff. So it all kind of fits together and kind of paints the picture that he is, uh, of the ballerina, ballerino world. For the background, I tried to do like a mirror, but I don't know if it reads off as a mirror. So I was kind of iffy on it. What I did to try and compensate for that was left kind of a, a somewhat reflection behind the character in both drawings. So it can kind of give off the mirror thing. The rod that they hold on to the dancers is also there. And I don't know if it looks like a rod or if it looks like a wall molding. I probably should have added some more depth to it to kind of push further the idea that it is like a 3D object that they grab onto. It's much easier to see with this drawing right here on the right because, you know, his hand is on it and he's doing like a pose alongside of it. But in the first photo, I don't know if you could kind of see it properly unless I explain it, but I, I think it reads off well enough though. 
but honestly, I think it should be fine because there are enough indicators in the drawing, like the leotard, his poses, um, kind of like uh, the scenery altogether. I think it all kind of reads off as somebody who is like at least athletic or like a gymnast or like a ballerino in specific. So I feel like it, it probably reads off well enough. And I'm, again, just thinking too far <laughs> into everything. But all I know is that he's really pretty. I think his face is gorgeous. I love his hair. I usually don't do blonde hair, but I was feeling it this time and I was so right to feel it. Oh my God. I was like, yes, this works beautifully. I just love the way he looks, the pose, everything just feels right about this. And I want to do more and I'm so much more inspired to just make sure I make time for myself and my art. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And remember, I love you. Bye.